In this example, we want to solve the following linear system using row operations and uh, doing, a, doing a backward substitution. Okay, so first thing is to put this into matrix form. Okay. All right, so first row, uh, we have just looking at the coefficients, we're going to have 1, minus 3, 4. Okay, and then we have negative 4. Okay, second row, we have 3, minus 7, 7, and minus 8. Third row, we have minus 4, 6, negative 1, and 7. Okay. All right, so we have our uh, augmented matrix, and so we can start with the row operations. Okay, so again, uh, remember that the goal is to make, we want to get this 0, uh, this position 0, and this one 0. Okay, so we're going to do that by applying the row operations. Okay. So in our in the first row, first column, we have a one there. So that's a that's a an ideal value to use, okay, to have as our pivot. Okay, so we're going to uh, since we have three in row two, and we're going to take minus three times. We're going to take negative three of row one and add it to row two. Okay, so minus three times row one. Add that result. Add that to row two and store the result in row two. Okay, okay so we have one minus three, four, negative four. And then second row, okay, we're going to get, uh, so we have minus three plus three, that will give us zero. Negative three times negative three, that will give us nine. Nine minus seven is going to give us two here. And then negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 7 will give us negative 5 here. Uh, negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. 12 minus 8. Okay, that's going to give us 4. Okay, and then we have for the last row, we have minus 4, 6, negative 1, and 7. All right, so the next thing is to... Um, to get the negative 4 to make that into 0. Okay, so we can multiply the first row by 4 and then add that to the sec to the third row. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have 4 times row 1 and then we're going to add that to row 3 and st store that result in row 3. Okay, so for the first row, we don't, we're just going to have 1, negative 3, 4, minus 4. And then for the second row, we have 0, 2, negative 5, 4. Okay. All right, so for the third row, we're going to get, so we have 4 times 1, minus 4. Okay, that's going to give us 0, obviously. And then 4 times negative 3, that's going to give us negative 12. Okay, and negative 12 uh, plus 6, okay, that's going to give us negative 6. And then we have 16, so 4 times 4 is 16, minus 1, that's going to give us 15. 4 times negative 4 is going to give us negative 16, plus 7, that gives us negative 9. Okay, all right, so... For the next step, we can um, we can go ahead and multiply row two by three. Okay, since we want to make negative six zero. Okay, so we're going to take minus three of row two and add that to row three, and then store the result in row three. Okay, so minus three. Actually, we want positive 3 because we have negative 6. So we have 3 times row 2, add it to row 3, and store that result in row 3. 
So we have one, negative three, four, minus four, zero, two, negative five, four. Okay, so we have uh, for, for the third row, we're going to get zero, zero here, and then we have three times negative five is minus 15, minus 15 plus 15 is going to give us zero, and we have 12, right, three times four is 12, and then 12 minus nine, that's going to give us three, okay. All right, so here, okay, we notice, right, if you notice this part, okay, All right, so this is say this is the same as saying right. This is zero times z. Well, in this case, we're using x three as a z component. So this is going to be zero times x three equals to. I'm sorry, zero times x three equals to three. Okay, so that means there's no solution here. Okay, so there's no right. There's no value of x three that will such that when you multiply by zero will give you three. Okay. So we have no solution here. Okay, so therefore this, uh, this linear system that we have here is inconsistent, meaning that there's no solution, okay? Okay, so no solution for this system. All right, and so here's the uh, here's the here's what these planes look like. Okay, these equations that we have here they they form they have they're basically we have planes in R three, and you can see if you look carefully that there is no intersection point. There's no common solution here. Okay, all right, we don't even have an infinite solution here. We have no solution, so there's no um, so basically these three planes are cutting through each other. At, at different, you know, at different lines, okay? So the intersections form lines here, okay? And there's no common, there is no common intersection for these three planes. So therefore, you can see that we have no solution here, okay?